Hey guys, Dull Digger here. Uh, it's August 28th, 2016. Uh, I went up to Newport, also known as PB&J. I went up there with uh, Ross, the Silver Sniffer, and we kind of, I don't know, we, we hit it hit or miss. It was kind of iffy in the beginning. We found these big coins, and we thought they were silver at first, but they're way too light. Um... I did shoot everything on the GoPro, but apparently my memory was full, so every video where I went to go dig, it would show two seconds and then cut out, so I think I need to clean this out, um, start from scratch, and hopefully I'll get you real videos instead of just these fine videos very shortly. Uh, we, we both got a whole bunch of earrings, but they're all junkers. I think he ended up with four. I got these two. Nice little pendant, but it's not marked. It's not, it doesn't test for silver on the stone. But it's not magnetic. It's got weight, but I don't know. It's a nice little pendant or charm, I guess. Uh, Ross ended up with four of these coins. One of them was dated 1882. Uh, but for me, I got a 68, a 47, and a bicentennial 59. But they're all magnetic. They're all junk. I don't know. They're kind of cool. I'll, I'll hold on to them. I'll treat them as tokens. Uh, the find of the day would have to be this nice little 925 ring. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, focus on it. Uh, it's all scratched up. It's been used for a while. There it is. I don't know if you can see it. It says 925FC in a box. I mean, eh, ring's a ring. I think that's number, yeah, that's number 37 for the year. My goal's 52. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm about to go shoot another VDI video for the AT Pro with a whole bunch of coins. So check that out once I upload that. Feel free to like and subscribe. As always, happy hunting, good luck, and always dig it.